We don't know why we're here. No, we're gathered here to celebrate us. And when I mean us, I'm talking about my very self and my beautiful wife here. Um, we are celebrating five years of living in love, in truthfulness, and of course, in absolute marital bliss. Um, five years ago, on this spot, I proposed to this very beautiful woman, and she said nothing but yes. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I actually, like, totally forgot. Well, I did. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you too. Love Still in the spirit of celebration, we have a, a new youth couple that just started working with us. Her name is Keisha Johnson. And she has a very good special number to render to the couple. Well, you know, but the way I see your eyes, 
I don't see better, no better, better ambition at all. No, see, sit in your hand. Then make I say me. I'm not gonna take this thing. No. This guy one. Ha! I'm not gonna take. So I have my better money. I'm gonna take it with them now. Champagne. Okay. <laughs> no while now. Time. Shut Eh? Yes. Hey. Insult me where well, where. Well. You see. Time. Shut Yeah. <laughs> time. When you know they do, but that's what time will do. They take give you that money. They tell me it's the time will tell. I beg, they, they, they take your, your busy your, body. I'm so you wicked. They thought I'm not very important. Wait, you want to get that money? You will want to drive for me. Hi. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Wonderful voice you have. What a voice. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm really rattled. I'm sorry I um, rattled you. And I'm also sorry I chose this uh, place uh, to hide and tell you that you have such a wonderful voice. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I never knew when we endorsed your papers to serve with our company. Uh, we actually endorsed the Rare Gem with a wonderful voice, too. Thank you, sir. The pleasure is all mine, having the opportunity to serve in your company. Good, 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 good. I'll have to go home now. It's getting late. See you at the office tomorrow. Okay, sir. Good night. Good night. I'm drunk in love. I'm so happy. My joy is overflowing. I'm so happy. I know. And you should be. My boss loves you so much. Oh, I know. I know. And I love him too. I, I love him so much. I mean, he has shown me nothing but pure love for the past five years in our marriage. And I've not even been able to give him a child. I love him. Don't worry. God will provide. And I pray I find a man like him. Maybe something close. This is going to be different. You are going to find a better man. Are you sure? Trust me. Yes. Cheers to that. To see how the brother is single. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Yeah, you know how that this house mm. things work now. I'm so happy. Yeah. You guys are really surprised me. I keep thanking God ever since I met you. You know what? You, my darling. And our love is one that will grow until the end of time. Even though I'm barren? You keep talking about you being barren. When a child will come, that child will come. Okay? From now, you're that child I see because you're the one I call for me. You're that baby I want to be. Okay? Just go do justice. with it, so I decided to bring it to your desk. Oh, yes, yes, impressive. I, I must say, if that is implemented amongst our peers, <laughs> that material will catapult this cooperation to the top. Yeah. Trust me when I say so. So where's she now? Um, she went for lunch break. Tell her to see me when she gets back. Okay.
Yeah, good afternoon, Keisha. How was your lunch break? Good, sir. You asked that I see you. Yes, I did. Um, I got a look, good look at your material and I must say, impressive. I will see to it that management implements it. Wow. It's an honor, sir. Yeah, speaking of honor, I believe your first class degree in business management was well earned, huh? Thanks for the compliment. Yeah. Well, Meg will be going on her annual leave real soon. So you will be working in my unit under my office. You will take her seat till she returns. Sir, but I'm okay where... You don't question my authority. I say the way things are done right here. You understand me? You will take her seat and I believe you have a good job on your table as we speak. Good day. Sir, but I... Keisha, you are only taking her seat and not her job. Good day. Thank you, sir. That was quite some delay, Keisha. I thought you weren't going to show up. I'm sorry, sir. I was trying to clear the decks. Mm. Keisha. Sit down. Here's my question. Why were you pensive? I don't understand, sir. Early in the day? Why did you seem afraid when I was talking to you? It's only normal, sir. Everything is happening so fast. Everything in life these days happens fast, like the speed of light. Which brings me to my next question. <clears throat> you are hardworking, innovative. I meet yourself. I've gone through a whole lot in life and I have no option other than to succeed. Hmm. Exactly the reason I did ask you to wait. Yes. I want to know you. Everything about you. Every single detail. Your beginning. Basic history aims and aspirations, goals, gains and losses. You will tell me everything. We'll discuss over there. It's a long story, sir. Will I have the patience? Can I insist? Or shall we? Tell me it's true. It's the truth. The way he spoke about her. And asking me or telling me that he wanted to see her. 
I don't know why he would want a meeting with her at night. You know, I'm just, I'm just worried that by the time I get back from this forced leave, I might not have a job anymore. I might not have this precious job that I've done for seven years. No, no, no. That will not happen. It won't happen now. Um, I will talk to him about what they talked about. And um, if at all he's trying to replace you with her, I'll make sure that she leaves, not you. Okay? Okay. But I'm not just worried about me. I'm also worried that she might not just be interested in taking my job, but also taking your husband. Yeah, you know these girls are very desperate. I see desperation in her eyes. I know what I'm talking about. You mean, like, trying to take my place? Trying to take my husband? Just like this, at this point. No, 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 Meg. <laughs> See, one thing I know is that Greg loves me so much. Greg can never do that to me. Never. I know your job is under some kind of threat, and I'm going to do all I can to secure it for you. But as for my marriage, it is intact as ever. <laughs> no way. Well, if you say so. I know so. I'm really sorry. I mean, uh, I'm so sorry I made you open up. Rape is not something anybody, I mean, any woman would want to go through. I'm sorry. Thank you, sir. But forgive me, um, let me ask. Uh, you said um, it happened to you, I mean, you were raped when you were 15 in your senior secondary school level and in a hotel in Calabar. Yes. Me, but what were you doing in a hotel at that age? We went there as a group of students. Our teacher deceived us that we were going for a picnic. Whereas she recruited us for some businessmen who came for a conference and I was still a virgin then. And I couldn't just stop the I couldn't just stop the man I was allocated to. Yeah. He forced his way into me. Sad, sad. Um, I'm sorry, but um, if you see this man, can you recognize him? No way. The room was dark and they left very early the next morning because they had a flight to catch. I only woke up and saw the money he left for me. Then I realized the man might not be a complete monster. He was actually acting drunk. It was our teacher that deceived us. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to wipe your tears. And I'll make sure you achieve every single thing you've ever wanted to achieve. Thank you, sir. Stop, please. Can I beg you for something? Anything. Please let me work from your office and not Max. She might begin to think a lot of negative things, especially knowing how close she is to your wife. Well, I don't care. I've worked with Megan for seven years in this corporation, and I've made decisions that have helped her career and her client in this corporation. And this decision is inclusive. You and I are working on that material of yours as a team, alone.
Start working on it tomorrow. You have to access it within 48 hours. I want it on my table by Friday. I don't want delays. I don't want any obstacles of any sort. When Megan leaves, you take over her office. So says your direct boss. Okay, sir. Yeah, uh, we're currently working on her material. Um, the bankers are ready, and um, by Friday we have to deliver the final framework. That's it. Yeah, um, everything is okay. But I'm really, really glad that girl is on Meg's seat at the moment because she is so, so smart and what we need to move forward. Yes, yes. Well, considering the, the innovative nature of the girl, Meg seriously feels that her job is on the line. Oh, please, Meg should be professional. Meg should rather concern herself with coming back after her annual leave, being very constructive, being very creative towards work. That's it, instead of being unnecessarily jittery. <laughs> but I also understand her fears. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, please, 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 please. Make sure you just relax, okay? Just relax, that's it. <laughs> um, are you going to have dinner after you shower or before? Well, here's what. Why don't I have um, a warm glass of milk, I have a warm bath, and uh, I'll warm you up later. That's so naughty. Come on, let's go. Let's All right. go. Okay. okay. I'll have a warm you later. That's very good. I know. Very good. straight to the account department and then you sign sign that she collected the money please then it goes straight to the MD's office if you like fill it and send it to the gate man where did you, where did you graduate from I'm sure it's one of these police techniques that don't have money did, did you, are you, are you, Auntie Meg, seems you're not happy and I was wondering if... Eh? Eh? Who did you call me? Hey! No, 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 what did you call me? Am I your auntie? Am I older than you? No, 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 am I older than you? Stand there and see me. Don't put your hand on my face. If you want, follow me. If you want, don't follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Why are you still standing there? Guess what? Guess what? Okay, okay, let me tell you. I actually hired the same guy that has been watching my husband for five years to watch over him and um, Keisha the whole of today. And I can assure you that there's nothing intimate going on between them. <laughs> wow. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes, the guy actually smuggled out some documents as well. And I went through them and I can confirm that whatever project they're working on has to continue because whatever comes out at the end of the day is going to benefit all of us. Ooh, yeah, wow. yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's a really good one. Yes, I'm so happy. Like, what a relief. <laughs> I, uh, well, it, you know, I'll stop by at your salon once in a while to, to see you. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. Okay. I, at least it's good you've uh, sorted it out. You have no idea. I'm <laughs> so relieved. I know. <laughs> mm. 
Yes, um, you see, um, <clears throat> if I follow your analysis and we concentrate on the rural dwellers as our clientele, I want to believe uh, it could be positively surprising for us. Yes, you're right, sir. You know, many companies just focus on the city dwellers, neglecting the rural ones. But I think with this proposal, they will get to, you know, accept our product and we'll spend less on advertising. Well, it's okay. It's all right. Um, here's what. I need you to reconcile this document and uh, reconcile uh, this as well. Okay? Reconcile the two while I work on the cost analysis. All right? Hello, Kisha. I don't know why you refuse to pick my call since. The landlord came here and threatened to inject us out of this house if we don't pay the new house rent for two years. And your twin kids are crying here, wanting to see you. I don't know why you make our time to come and see them. How much is the money? Now who they talk, because this no be Kisha's voice. My name is Greg. I'm Kisha's boss at the office. We're working on a project. I sent her somewhere. Ah. Oga bego, oga sorry, oga no verse. Oga please, no tell and say me and you talk, eh? Because she go kill me if she find out say I tell anybody, even by mistake. She told me not to tell anybody, say she get picking. Oga beg, no tell her. It's okay. Nobody will hear it. All right, um, Kisha is a dedicated staff and uh, you know what? I'll delete this call details. Okay, sir. I'll reach you. No problem, sir. Hey! See what's in my mouth? Don't put me. If Kisha hear this one, she will kill me.
Hey! Hey, what? Well, our guard day they were busy for office all night. See, our guard day busy for office all night. I be mean, they busy, they tidy that way. We yeah, call yeah, you yeah, service yeah, for yeah, office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk that kind of thing, follow my uh -uh. Why my guard go to do that kind of thing in our office? You know, get hot when go go do that kind of thing. I beg no verse. I think saying just. You know, they think say wait. No, they think waiting. You know, Sabi. No, they talk what you know here. Yeah. Everything. Cha 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 cha. Why you don't talk? He don't do no verse. I just they play with you. Person not fit play with you. Don't do nothing. You know, say people like to. I don't like to flow you talk. Good morning. He took it up, he took his shoes, and left the gifts. Why? I didn't know they were mine. Yours. You didn't know they were yours. It's all right. Um, 2 p.m. we continue with the project. Huh? Okay, sir. Um, Bossa, please, can I ask a question? Yes, go ahead. Why did you do that? I've seen enough tears on this face. But I think this beautiful face deserves much more smiles. Thank you very much, Sam. You're welcome. To be here. I'm still waiting for the folder. Okay. What more information did you find out? Ah, Madam, they are all here. Did you give the technician the money I gave you? Yes, sir. I also took mine. Mm. <laughs> Listen. Uh, hold on. I don't know you. You don't know me. We have never met. Have we? No. Good. Ah. So take. Oh, thank you. We shouldn't be seen together. Go. Thank you. 
باشی Why is this man so kind? He credited my account with one million naira, got me a new apartment. Now, countless gifts and clothes. Could he be interested in me or just rewarding me for my hard work? If he loves me, can I ever trust a man in my life after the rape at that hotel at the age of 15? No, but this man is different. No, I can't go into any affair with him because I told him everything but hid the children I have from him. If he finds out I hid that, he will hate me. Let me just watch and see what he is up to. pain you've ever felt is wiped out. I know destiny brought you to me. I have no choice but to help you in life. Yes, no choice. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> 
I told you, but you didn't listen. I will set that company on fire. I will. Hmm. Man. My dear, you don't even know whether he has a, a child somewhere with another woman. <laughs> or maybe he's even planning to have one with Keisha. And then he comes home and acts like the good loving husband that loves and cares about you so much and doesn't care whether you give him a child or not. Meanwhile, he has other plans. <laughs> Some men. I just wish I knew that he's been deceiving me all along. I wish I knew. No. Listen, what you should be concerned about is not letting Keisha take what belongs to you. Don't let her steal your joy, your marriage, or your life. So, are you saying she's the little girl you devote that fateful night at that hotel in Kenya? Of course she's the one. Yes, the worst part is that she doesn't even know that my very self her present boss is the man who did all that nonsense to her that day. She doesn't. I mean, the way she described the story, Calabar, the drunken state of the man, the money, everything shows that she is the one. She's the little girl. Huh. So, what do you intend to do with her? You want to continue from where you stopped years ago? No, 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 no. don't stop it. Don't even say that. Please. No. That girl was just a little girl. A little girl recruited by her teacher. She didn't even know. In my stupid drunken state, I didn't even realize she was a minor. Only the next morning, for me to see her innocent face sleeping, I felt guilty that I gave her a large sum of money, but still, that wasn't enough. No, it's not enough. But um, you said um, it seems like she's liking you and she does anything you ask of her. Yes, but I don't intend taking advantage of her now. Look, that girl is currently traumatized. She has two kids. Now, I don't know if she is married, separated or divorced. But whatever it is, I'm going to make sure I make amends for that terrible thing I did to her years ago. That's it. That's very kind of you. But I, for one, wouldn't mind she can't remember anything. <laughs> well, that's why my name is Greg and not that. Hey, you don't have to remind me of that. Now, let me remind you of this. You were also responsible. Yes, very irresponsible, actually. Hell no! Hell yes! And you were one of the men who took advantage of little girls in Calabar. I was in room 511, you were in 512. Yes, and I'm sure the girl you devoured that day is currently traumatized, so you better feel guilty. You know what I think? I think you're up to something. Remember you once joked about marrying me off to a rich man and collecting money from him? So have you been collecting money from any rich man, deceiving him and telling him I'm going to get married to him or have an affair with him? What are you talking about, Keisha? How can you accuse me of those things? I told you the good Samaritan man is living in America. Someone told him of your challenge, he's raising the kids, he decided to help. Yeah, if you want us to go back to the previous life of uh, stricken poverty, no problem. If you want us to go back to that life, no problem, it's okay. If you want the kids to live what they are enjoying now, the school bus, all these luxuries they are enjoying, no problem. But just know that I will leave the kids with you. Eh, I will leave the kids with you, no problem. What? I told you that he said, the man said, any day I tell you who he is, that he will stop assisting us. Oh, this woman. Hello? Uh, Meg? Meg? Yes, I dealt with him. I said I dealt with him. Yes, I was at the office. If you see how I dealt with him, he will never ever see that office again. Ask for the Kisha, I didn't see how they she was very, very lucky. Of course, of course. I told you I will set that company on fire, and I mean it, I will. Of course. Oh, oh, okay, no problem. We'll talk later.
happened to you, sir? Good morning, Keisha. Good morning, sir. It's a private issue. And I, um, how, how, how was your night? I'm not answering any of your questions, but you tell me what... Kisha, I now. said I am fine, okay? Go back to your office, please. Did you fight with your wife? Was it about me? What's going on? Like what, manager? Since you came in, a lot of dirty waters are flowing down our bridge. I don't still get it, manager. Why did you decide to destroy the apparatus in this company and our boss's marriage? Excuse me, sir. Who said I am doing or did that? You're seated at Meg's office. An official built and occupied in the last seven years. Greg's house is rumbling. The wife is about to leave him. He now sleeps in the office. Goes everywhere with you and discusses everything with you. What are you not saying? Please, Mr. Manager. I only came here for my national youth service and to consolidate the fortunes of this company. I'm not here to take anybody's job or marriage. I think you had better ask your boss what exactly is going on in his home, other than coming here to accuse me. Simple advice for you, young girl, on how to live your uncle. Stay away from someone else's husband and a job that is not yours. Excuse me. Stan, I need to see you immediately. Stan, don't ask me questions. Just come, please. Immediately, immediately, please, please, please. You sound so worried. How's this going? I tell you, my house is on fire. How? What's happening? So, I don't know who is feeding Floxy with some sort of information about Kisha and I. I just don't know. I, I don't know. Seriously, I don't. I mean, can, can, can you imagine my wife for five years suddenly becomes berserk, uncontrollable? Do you know Flogzy tore my shirt in my office? I 
had to sleep at the office to escape a few weeks. Do you know that? Huh. Huh. What the hell? Who is capable of I don't know. I don't know. All I know is somebody in my office is snitching on me and I'm going to do a total purge out of that corporation. I will. You did the right thing. I mean, that is the best way to confront a lie. I have a feeling that I'm... Um, like, my marriage is coming to an end. I don't know. Why would you say that? Hey, are you, are you planning to leave your marriage for that opportunist? Babe, don't try it. Though. Don't even think about it. Hey, hey! You want to leave which marriage? With all the gist I've been hearing. Huh. Huh. Uh, these days I just hear that all they do is... Huh. Anyway, I don't know. How do you mean? Well, what I hear do... They don't do anything other than make love in the office. Yes, you will be hearing morning sounds. Uh, uh, mm, mm. I don't know if they are praying or... But I hear they do it anywhere, anyhow, anytime. What? Mm. That's what you want to leave your marriage for. Huh. Don't think about it. I'm telling you, every day you'll be hearing sounds, very strange sounds. In fact, if you even want to catch them red handed, you go to the office right now. Hey! Ah! Uh, uh, Foxy, wait, wait! Hold on! No, see! Uh. Whatever she did is highly unacceptable. I know. No, for what? I know we want to make peace, but why would she do that? If you do not meet him on top of that child, then go punish Ah. I must have been so stupid not to realize you're the one feeding my wife with this rubbish. Wait, wait, wait!
Marriage. Marriage. Now listen, I need you right here. I want to see you right now. Right now. Make them sit. Yes. And when I say now, now. Yeah, I open. Just shut, 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 shut. Where's Keisha? Keisha. Where is Keisha? I, I don't know. You don't know. Are you the human resources manager here? Yes or no? Of course I am. Yeah. What? Yeah. You're the human resources manager and you don't know where your staff is. Huh? You do not. Now I'll give you a heads up since you don't know where she is. This is her resignation letter. Now can you tell me why she resigned? Can you tell me why she resigned? I, I don't know. You don't know? Yes. So the human resources manager and you don't know a person you hired when she resigned. You don't know that. You don't know. Sorry. That means you don't know your job. You're fired. You understand me? You are fired. Every other person in your unit is fired. Everybody here is fired, okay? Tell Tonya that she will type your resignation letters which you will receive in 30 minutes, okay? And after that, she is fired. Everybody is fired. The cleaners, everybody fired. You understand me? Fired. All of you. And you know, you tell Meg, if you know where Meg is, that she is also fired. She's not bother coming back. Wherever she is, is fired. All of you are fired. Yes. And after getting your resignation letter, in 30 minutes after that, if I see you here, you'll be shot fired. Fire! This woman, no? I'm good. To where? My father's house. Where else? Why? You asked me why, Greg? Yes, I'm asking you why. You dismiss your entire staff because of her. Do you think I'm going to sit here and wait for you to dismiss me too? No. I already know my fate, so I'm leaving. I would have been gone before you even returned from work. But it's okay. At least you are saying me that I'm leaving you tonight. I'm leaving you. Then you can feel free, bring her in to live with you so that you stop sneaking around like you're doing. Greg, goodbye. I'm leaving. I'm done with this. Just do me one thing, okay? You're gonna do a check on our health to know because people like that, they carry diseases around. Deadly ones. You know what? If this is the path you have chosen, I'm not going to stop you. But one day you realize what you've done to yourself. Just think, okay? Think.
Just there is little 